7.30 early in the morning last week Sun shining in my face, I wiped away the sleep from my eyes From the beginning, oh shit, what do you know? Two guys standing with guns at my bedroom window I played it cool, keep the tools they carried in their hand Two, three, fifty-seven, nine, and one on the bed stand I had my piece under the pillow, cause that's just how I do Started to reach for it, felt nothing, I guess they knew One nigga started laughing and turned to his man He said, I don't think that she knows about this plan His man just smiled and nodded his head Ain't this gonna be in said, get out of the bed I complied with his wishes, been down to grab my slippers, nigga number one said, hey now, no funny business, just do what we say and everything will be cool. You hear a lot of things today, but that's the number one rule. I said, what the fuck is this shit all about? We can discuss a problem and y'all can break the fuck out. Nigga number one said that we not able to do, but there's a tape deck on your table with a message for you. It said, follow niggas one and two's instructions carefully. A fucked up things will happen if you dare to be a heroin. These orders come straight from the president of the American people, then the tape just stop. I looked at my watch. Niggas one and two had they guns up cocked and said it's time to go. Grab your things and get ready. In 13 minutes, we all gotta be jetty. Come on. Sitting in the back of a van with cuffs on my head. Six secret service men and black one nigga in ten. Who's driving? For three hours we've been riding. Took Route 33 to a very small island and unloaded. Nigga one and two at my side. Number one glaring at me for the whole damn ride. They seem to travel in silence. Express themselves with violence and I'm the target. Shoving me back and forth with very, very big guns. What would you do in this situation? No place to run in a remote location. Kept my patience and stuck to the tape's advice. Knew my crew could find me with the Negro tracking device. I wasn't worried, but niggas one and two hurried to step to the door where the president was kept punched in a passcode. I watched the door slide open inside. Stood the league and the president and ropes and my people said, drop the guns, hop in your van, get the fuck off the island, no way capping your man. The secret service men, man, what could they do? Here's a lesson, never ever fuck with me and my crew. Check it.